Hello and welcome to our first lesson on Engten Precalculus. The first module talks about the set of real numbers. And uh, along with this module, there are different topics and we will go over these topics one by one. We have introduction to sets, set operations, the set of real numbers, the real number system, inequality, representing real numbers on the number line, and then absolute value. For this video, we are going to talk about the first topic, which is on the introduction to sets. So what is a set? A set is a collection of objects, and the objects in a set are called the elements of the set. Each particular object must be either in the set or not in the set. So, uh, how do we write the set? A pair of braces, like this is used with words or symbols to describe a set. For example, if S is the set of natural numbers less than 6, we can write set S as this one or this one. As you can see, there are two ways to write a set. And the first one, we have listed all the elements in the set. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And as you can see, these elements are separated by comma. In the second one, we have used a statement to describe the set. So, based from this illustration, there are two ways to write a set. The first one is called the rooster method. The rooster method is a way of describing a set by listing all its elements separated by commas and enclosed within braces. Examples. Set S has elements 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set B has elements A, B, C, D, E. These are written in rooster method because the elements are all written inside uh, enclosed braces. The second one second way to write a set is the set builder notation. A set builder notation gives the criteria for deciding whether an object belongs to the set. Our example above is s is equal to x such that x is a natural number less than 6. Here, the symbol x is called a variable because it is used to represent any element of the given set. The given set is called the domain of the variable. Another way of writing the set S in set builder notation is to use a vertical bar in place of the words such that. Let us look at this example. Seems like our example above is the same with this one. The only difference is the word such that. is now written as a vertical bar so we can actually rewrite this such that with a vertical bar okay so in this particular example this is written in set builder notation the vertical bar is written as such that so for the whole set we read this as x such that x is a natural number less than 6. And then how do we know if two sets are equal? Two sets A and B are said to be equal, written A is equal to B, if and only if A and B have identical elements. For example, the set with elements 1, 2, 3 is equal to the set with elements 3, 1, 2. Although the elements are written in different order, they are still identical because all the elements are the same. If 